Hi all, welcome to Learn with Abdul Basit. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install the Dahua IMOU Cruiser SE series camera. Well, this is an outdoor camera. You can install it anywhere. It doesn't require any wired connections. You can just connect this to the power supply and you could be able to access it. So first, let's see how many things you would be getting in the box. Once we unbox the camera, we would be getting these many things in the box. First, you would be getting this camera. This is the camera. This is how it looks like. The model number for this camera is IPC S21FP. This is how the camera will look like. It has two antennas and this is pan and tilt camera. You can pan this camera up to 360 degrees. It will take the entire circular round and you can tilt this camera up to 90 degrees. And on the front side of the camera, you will find the memory card slot so if you would like to install the memory card in this camera you have to open these screws and you have to insert the micro sd memory card it supports up to 64 gb of memory card and if the camera is not accessible if the camera is not accessed or configured properly we may reset it using this reset button this camera has two connections it has ethernet cable where we can give the ethernet connection through PoE or non-PoE switches or router or any other network device. And it has the uh, DC pin where we can give the power supply. So this is the first thing you'd be getting in the box. Second thing you'd be getting in the box is the power adapter. This power adapter is of 12 volt, one amps. This has to be connected to the camera if you're using the camera without any PoE devices. Next, you'd be getting the uh, the stand for mounting the camera. This stand can be mounted anywhere and you can fix this camera. Uh, this is the third thing. Next thing you would be getting in the box is the waterproofing uh, case for RJ45. This has to be mounted if you are using the, in the ethernet cable. If you are using the ethernet cable, this has to be mounted on the RJ45 connector. It saves the camera from the water. It is the waterproof cap. Next, it comes with one inch screws and one inch fixtures to fix the camera stand. And this has to be mounted on the wall or this has to be mounted anywhere, wherever you require. Next is drill template. Using this drill template, we can drill wherever we want to fix the camera. Next is the quick startup guide and the guidelines. These are the things which we'll be getting in the box. Once you get all these things, once you unbox the camera, check the place where you would like to install the camera. There you need a power connection. So from the camera to the power connection, fix the adapter and connect the adapter to the camera. Once you connect the adapter, the camera start giving the light. If the light is flashing red, it means the camera is not configured properly. It means the camera is not working properly. If the camera LED light is off, it means there is no power supply to the camera. If the camera's LED light is red, it means the camera is booting. So it will take some time. It will take 30 seconds to 40 seconds of time. Once the camera is booted, the light will change the color. If it is solid red, it means the device is malfunctioned, means it is not working properly. Then you have to reset the camera. Network disconnected and it is failed to connect to the device. Flashing red, it is unable to connect to the network. If it is flashing green, it means the camera is trying to connect to the network connection. The network connection could be Wi-Fi connection. The network connection could be any, uh, any, any network connection within the range of this camera premises. So if it is solid stable green, it means the camera is connected properly to the network. So these are the things which we have to see. So once the light is off, it means the camera is not getting the power. If the light is stable red, it means the camera is not connected. There is something not working properly in the camera. We have to reset it. We have to check what's wrong with the camera. If it is flashing red, it means the camera is trying to connect to the network, but it is unable to connect to the network. Then if it is flashing green, it means the camera is trying, the camera is syncing to the network. If it is stable green, it means the camera is connected to the network. So once it is done, you have to open the application IMOU Life app. 
and then you have to register yourself providing your user id your password your mobile number there are some terms and conditions once you follow that terms and conditions you would be able to create your user id on that once you are done with the user id and the password it will ask you to pair the device so you can search on click on clicking on plus and there is one more option you can scan this qr code quick responsive code once you scan this qr code the camera will be added automatically into the application so once you downloaded the application in your mobile phone uh, once you register email id once you registered your user id and the password then scan this qr code and once you scan this qr code it will ask you for the username and the password of the camera and it will ask you the accessible internet connections or the wi-fi connections available in that network once you select that once you provide the correct password for that network connection this camera would be added into the network and you could be able to control the camera this is how it's very simple anyone can configure this camera only the thing what we have to take care is the wi-fi connectivity if the wi-fi connectivity is lost you could not be able to access this camera if the wi-fi connectivity is good you could be able to access this camera there are so many features in this camera like human detection uh, motion activity spotlight on and uh, smart tracking these are some of the important options which you may activate it if you require this this is a weatherproof camera it works in rainy season it works in any season it's very good camera going forward in the next video i'm going to show you the application the all the other settings and how to configure it and how to use it in today's video i have shown you the unboxing of this imou cruiser se series camera what things you would be getting in this box and what are the important things you have to take care of if you follow these steps you could be able to install the camera and configure it in the next video i'm going to show you how to configure this camera using iphone using android phone keep watching my videos if you find today's videos information useful like my channel subscribe to my channel and share my videos thanks for watching my videos have a good day